good morning. We are Michigan bound this morning and we're just finishing up packing some stuff. Slept in a little bit later than I thought we were going to, but yesterday you saw our packing video and today we are going to actually start that road trip. So I've just got to finish loading some things into the car. I'm throwing some last minute stuff in this bag and I've got to pack the cooler um, with our like yogurt and cheese and stuff. But yeah, we're getting ready. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna need coffee, but I'm also torn on drinking on a road trip because I don't like to stop and go potty. Do we? We like to make it as far as we can, huh? Say, we're going to Michigan! We're going, going to Michigan! Michigan. All right, so I've got my purse and these are going up to a friend. The cooler is packed. I did not show you that, I apologize, but um, I cut up some apples that were gonna go bad while we were gone. There's sandwiches, there's ice packs under there, and then yogurt and string cheese. And then I have got my snack bin up here, plus like coffee stuff that I wanted to bring. Alice is all comfy and ready, huh? You got your snacks? Awesome. In the back, we are loaded down. That is all of our luggage and the stuff I showed you yesterday. The bags of clothes. Right, Mr. Jackman, <coughs> fix your straps. You're acting goofy. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Here, lift up. Remember, this has to slide all the way up. There. That's really tight. Well, it's supposed to be tight, so let's keep you safe. And then between them, this is our electronics and miscellaneous tote that I showed you. I've got their iPads in there within easy reach once they get tired of watching movies. So yesterday, Alice and I were out shopping, grabbing some last minute things, and my front right tire was blinking at me saying it was a little bit low. So I was like, okay, I'll fill these up, check the tire pressure before we go on our road trip, right? So I go to put air in the tire and when I put the air compressor onto the, the tire valve, it pushes the core inside the tire and tire will not hold air. So it goes completely flat. Luckily I was across the street from the place I got my tires at. So I was able to hurry up and put the air back in, try to get the, the cap on the valve stem really quickly. And by the time I did that, it was holding like 17 PSI. So it was like half flat. So I drive over there. They were able to fix it for us for free, um, which was very nice. But they didn't have the metal uh, core, which is what our vehicle takes. So they put a rubber one in, which is just a standard core. The metal one hooks up to a sensor that hooks up to um, the tire pressure monitoring system, which tells me when I have low tires. Um, now I have one tire that's blinking uh, one PSI because the, it's not hooked up to the sensor so that's going to annoy me but at least our flat tire incident happened here rather than when we were somewhere between here and nine hours from here so thanking God for that. Bye house! Bye. And we're on our way! And the kids have their headphones on which are hooked up to the TV system in the van so that way I don't have to listen to cartoons the whole trip and I can put on, I downloaded a bunch of podcasts that I'm going to listen to. So I've got my phone hooked in through the auxiliary cable so I can listen to podcasts and they can still listen and watch cartoons so everybody's happy. So I really only listen to podcasts when I'm on road trips. Right now um, I'm actually listening to um, That's the Way I Heard It with Mike Rowe, um, Mike Rowe from Dirty Job. Or, Dirty Jobs? Is that what he's on? Anyway, he's on TV. Really into like true crime, which that started with the podcast Serial, which I saw they have a second season now, but the second season do doesn't look as interesting to me. Dave Ramsey, Criminal, Sword and Scale, Lore is another good one. That one's all about folklore and folktale type things. My husband's a real big podcast guy, so he got me onto some of these. Um, My Favorite Murder is another good one if you like true, true crime type stuff. There's a lot of true crime podcasts out there I'm finding. I didn't listen to podcasts until very recently, like in the last year, year and a half, uh, when we were doing more road trips back and forth to Michigan. And I'm always interested to see, I love recommendations and um, what do you listen to? If you listen to podcasts, leave me a comment below with some suggestions. into the 
trip, not even, hour and just over an hour into the trip. We've already hit our big snag of traffic right as we crossed over the bridge into Ohio. We are now caught in, the GPS says it's going to be about a 15 minute slowdown due to construction. I also just saw a fire truck go by, so I don't know if there's also an accident. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I keep going back when I'm it felt like we were going backwards. The lane of traffic next to us was moving forward and we were sitting still, so she thought we were going backwards. But we are cruising along at a whopping four miles an hour. It looks a little smoky up there, so I'm not sure if that's why the fire truck was going through, or if there's an accident, or what's going on, or if it's completely unrelated, but definitely a little smoky. And I hear a police car. Oh. Nope, another fire truck just went past. So yeah, another trooper just went by. There's an accident up around this corner, so that is why we're delayed. I don't think it has anything to do with the construction through here right now. Um, there is some sort of accident coming up here. Oh, another fire truck just went. So that's three fire trucks I've seen and w one state trooper or police vehicle. But um, we are just enjoying the lack of scenery here in Ohio. Ohio is the longest state to drive through. We hate driving through Ohio and I am sorry if that offends anybody, but my lord does it take forever. We're all wearing sweats and t-shirts because nine hours in a car and I try to stop very little if we can help it. Um, huh. I'm not sure what's going on exactly. Everyone's merging over to the right down to one lane, so this should be fun. Um, yeah. So that actually was not too long of a slowdown. Um, a vehicle had actually caught on fire. It was some sort of, and now we're stopping again, so I lied about that. But a vehicle was actually on fire. It was like a utility truck of some sort, and the entire cab of the utility truck was um, gone but it looked like everyone was okay which is good but now we're stopped again and i'm guess guessing this is from the construction so it might be a long trip um, that construction and slowdown and the accident all of that put us behind by 20 minutes so hopefully we can make up some time and not hit another bunch of traffic like that we still have 400 miles, which is just over six hours. We have yet to stop. We are still somewhere in Ohio. You ready to get out and stretch? Yeah. You ready to go in? Why don't you leave Peppa in here? And I'm afraid it has already started. The kids have been asking if we're in Michigan yet. We are not. I know, it's a long drive. You guys are doing good though. Yeah, you'll see Cousin Ryder as soon as we get to Michigan. Crap. You know how when you go and you pack for a trip and you're going somewhere and you make lists and you check them and you hope that you have everything? I forgot my new face wash and I was really excited. I just started using it yesterday and I was excited to get into a new skincare routine and I left it in my shower. So bummer. You're about to enter Michigan and the one thing you notice from entering Ohio to Michigan is the quality of Michigan. roads. Yay! It says welcome to pure Michigan. And then the roads get noisy and rough. So we have been on the road for just under five hours. We just entered Michigan. We've got about 360 miles to go. Um, which is going to be about four hours from now. So All right, curious minds want to know, mainly mine, what do you listen to when you are on a long road trip? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite road trip songs or stations or whatnot. What do you do on long road trips like this? Um, I already talked about the podcast that I listen to. I'm currently listening to an Ed Sheeran channel on Pandora, and prior to that I was listening to the Country Pop channel on Pandora. 
So that's kind of what I'm working with at the moment. But I'm curious what you listen to. So leave me a comment down below. But it, but it, leave me a comment down below. I'd like to hear your opinions and what keeps you occupied. actually stopped to get gas in our old neck of the woods we used to live here not at the gas station of course but in this town and I have had a headache and I've been trying to ignore it but I made the mistake of not having coffee before I left the house this morning because I didn't want to have to stop and use the restroom and I think I'm having a caffeine headache so I stopped and filled up on gas because we were almost on empty the kids picked a snack or a treat because they picked candy and then um, I paid 94 cents for two Tylenol. I never leave the house without a bottle of Motrin and somehow it's not in my purse. So apparently I do leave the house, I just did not plan on that. So I paid a dollar basically for two Tylenol and I got a five hour energy shot just for the little boost because I am getting sleepy. Um, but we are headed back onto the freeway and we're about three hours, just under three hours away from my mom's house. So still making decent time. All right guys, we just got off the freeway, the expressway, and the rest of the trip is going to be um, just regular two lane highway. So we've got about 85 miles left, which is about an hour and a half. Um, on these two lane roads. The entire trip up here until this point was all freeway driving and then from here until my mom's house is all just two lane highway. The areas that we're driving through are more likely to have deer and so I really need to keep my eyes out for that and so yeah there's a ton of cows over there. I don't know if you can see that. Dude, how do you hit? 
Just decided. Thank you.